Again, thank you. 605 now. The highest snowfall totals are to our north, as we've been telling you, and that's where John Shumway is. He was heading north earlier. He's in the KDK Mobile Weather Lab. I understand you're now heading back south from the Mercer area, heading over to Lawrence County. Is that correct, John? <laughs> Yeah, I know it's hard to keep up with where we are. Uh, we came, we went to Mercer and turned around at the exit. And I'll tell you, on that exit ramp, the snow was at least six, maybe seven, eight inches deep on the ramp itself. And then we got on to 79 South in pretty good condition because they'd been running the plow train down through there. Now we're on Interstate 80, and we just passed the Mercer interchange on Interstate 80. And let me show you the situation here. In, in the area over from uh, I-79 to 80, the or I-79 to Mercer, there had obviously been a PennDOT plow train that had come through and it was in pretty good shape. We saw one of the plows pulled over in the center of the road doing a turnaround and after we passed that, we got into the conditions you're seeing right now. First off, you can see the blowing that is happening coming in uh, from the right, but look at that left-hand lane and you can see how deep the snow is. If you can get into this and we'll do it just gently, you get an idea of how deep the snow is if you get out of the area that has been plowed. I mean, we're talking at least six inches of snow, and as you can see, what is a driving lane there on the left, it is probably covered in six to eight inches of snow still. So here on I-80, as we head over towards, uh, we're going over to 376 and down toward Newcastle, uh, the driving conditions, if you stay in the lane that's been plowed, are pretty good. But if you get out of that, and we have seen several places where there was evidence of people who've gotten out of it. Fortunately, the truck van, uh, you keep all those tractor trailers off. We saw a couple of them pulled over and, and covered in snow. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier if you're in a car, but unless you have to be, this is not the place to be this morning. We'll head over and get down towards the Newcastle area and check on the Pennsylvania Turnpike as well coming up. But for now, live on Interstate 80, John KA News.